today I give a very short three introduction in just only six minutes. Okay. So first of all, um, I want to introduce who am I, and uh, I think I am maybe a computer scientist because uh, I've wrote a bunch of papers with Eric Domain, who is a very famous computer scientist. So I'm <laughs> I may be a computer scientist too. And another, uh, I recently got uh, education number two uh, with a co-work with uh, uh, Pablo Hale, who is working in the graph theory. So I'm a kind of mathemat mathematician. And, but uh, the important thing is I love puzzles and origami very much. Okay. And actually, this is my third time on the G4G. And first time I prepared the gift, which is the set of polygons. And you, uh, I think you try to that one and up. One polygon can be folded into two different boxes. You, I mean, uh, given one polygon and depending on the different uh, lines and the different ways of folding, so you get the two different boxes. Okay. And at the next G4G, I prepared the paper weaving puzzle. You are given two ribbons and wave it, and you can get to a, a check about the pattern. It's not so easy. Okay. And this time, I prepared the improved one of the uh, G4, G9, we finally find uh, such a, some kind of very weird polygon. And depending on the way of foldings, you can obtain uh, three different boxes just from one polygon. It's a very kind of weird uh, pattern. And I, I might say uh, that's a kind of mathematical origami puzzle by computer. So <laughs> it represents me. And uh, here, I'm very happy to announce that uh, quite recently, I have translated this book into Japanese a few days ago. Okay. And <laughs> thank you. Uh, honestly, on the way to be here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, this is very, very ongoing project. And now I turn to the uh, introduction of my university, JAIST. Actually, um, you may know that uh, our university has a kind of museum which is called the JAIST Gallery and which consists of the nose puzzle. Our, un our university inherits all the puzzles of nose, and uh, actually uh, this um, gallery consists of the uh, hundreds of puzzles. And uh, actually, once you put, put in this gallery, you can see something like this. You can see that there are many only shelves. There are many shelves uh, which is uh, big n pen dominoes. Okay, and these shelves are theoretically kind of uh, forming a puzzle, so you can assemble these shelves in a big box. Theoretically, you can't move it, but <laughs> <laughs> this is a kind of puzzle, and so to make a big box. So. And uh, actually, the, this museum is quite recently opened. I mean, uh, one and a half years ago, we opened this museum, and quite recently, uh, three or four months ago, we finally have to all the photos of Nobu's collection. I mean, around 10,000 puzzles, but so far, we have no labels. <laughs> Just only took the photos, okay. And uh, this time, uh, I prepare the English pamphlet of, uh, for <laughs> this uh, meeting. So we, uh, I prepare this one for the extra gift, so you can get the English version of the pamphlet, so you can get the image of Nobu's collection and uh, this museum. And from now on, we are starting to build a puzzle database. And I think the best idea would be Wiki. So uh, it's not uh, published yet, but uh, once we make it, make it published, then uh, please cooperate to, make a good, uh, to give the information of such an unlabeled many thousand of puzzles. <coughs> okay. And last one is uh, just an uh, advertisement. Uh, my colleague and my friend uh, asked me to um, give some um, advertisement. And the first one is uh, Kutaniaki Seisho Nagon Chie no Ita. I think the detail or will be given by Takashima-san, or he knows much better than me. But uh, uh, in Jaist, Jaist is a, uh, uh, the, the area of the Jaist press is uh, very famous of such a kind of dishes uh, um, made by ceramic dishes. So recently we proposed and made some um, this set of dish. One dish is here, and the others, other guys, are other, other dishes are over there. So you can check it, the real one. And this is a very, um, you can see that this is similar to kind of tangram, 
But this pattern is not the tangram. I mean, this is a very old Japanese variant of tangram, so a bit different. And they are made by very nice ceramic dishes. And you can check that the, to make whole patterns, sometimes you have to flip some dishes. This guy and this guy, maybe. Yeah. And these two dishes are special. They are flippable. I mean, uh, this dish is this side uh, available and this side also available. So you can uh, use two ways. So you can make some right figures you like and some this one and something like that. And next one will be uh, this uh, metal mathematical object. You can see this real one. Okay. And this is a um, kind of, uh, this is a torus. You can see that. And uh, this uh, company make us made very, very many, some other mathematical functions made by material, um, but made by metal. So I think you can enjoy this one. And unfortunately, I'm not a merchant, so I can't sell them to you. <laughs> and only I, I bring some uh, pamphlet of these guys. And these guys are actually the sample or prototype, so I can't sell them to you. But, <laughs> but you can get the pamphlet and you can order them if you want to buy it. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.